All right, now I'm digging in my backlog of movies and stuff that I haven't posted. So, from October 27, 2018, March 31st of this year, and October 26th of 2020, I got Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Season 1, Season 1 of Pacific Rim the Black, and Season 1 of Barbarians. So, for Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Season 1, and that shit went 0 to 100 real fucking quick. Oh my god. That shit really, I did. Wow. That was a great fucking series, and Season 1 delivered in spades. Ooh. Not only does it push the TV-14 rating, but should have been TV-MA from the start. It really should have been. I don't know why the hell they kept it under TV-14 banner. That's dumb. It was like it was like watching Blade the series all over again with the just pushing against MA but not breaching it, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Best depiction of Satanism ever. Latin was on point and the story was phenomenal. Gotta love how the plot twisting unfolded right up to the very end. Can't wait for season two. Yeah, I was excited as fuck three years ago for this series. It was so good. It was worth the wait, too. Like, God, so worth it. Oh, and I've done my full series review on Sabrina, so you can check that out on my channel as well. Mm. But yeah, they push so much on that shit, from the violence to the blood to just overall introducing Satanism. That was dope. <laughs> Because not, no movie, well, yeah. Movies have introduced the shit since eons ago. But a series that focuses on that shit, just solely on that? None. Not really. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed that shit. It was great. Um, season 1, Pacific Rim, The Black. What an amazing opener. That was great shit. I absolutely fucking loved it. <laughs> Lots of revelations and great cliffhanger. Can't wait for season two. What happened in Pacific Rim the Black was it takes place between... Or wait, is it after? Yeah, it's after Uprising. And... One of the... Yeah, it's a, it is after Uprising because one of the mechs that got taken over by a kaiju jaeger got taken over by a kaiju the jaeger kaiju brain um one of them survived and helped them fight against another kaiju shit was cool as fuck oh my god but yeah that was great and it adds more and i love that and I talked to Kevin Scott about this shit because I wanted him, because he wrote Pacific Rim Aftermath, another review I've done. And I'm like, I, I've been campaigning for his ass to be part of the fucking series. Now he's part of the series. He's actually writing a prequel comic to the series. I'm like, yes, this motherfucker's part of the program now. Yeah, love that. Because his work in Aftermath, impeccable. It was great. And it's like, man, how was he not brought aboard for Uprising? I'm, may, I'm blown away by that. Oh, let me... I need to see the characters, because I don't remember the characters in the black. Like, I remember the Kaiju Jaeger, but I don't remember the... Um, all right, there you are. Come here. Like, I don't remember the deets and shit. Uh, where are you? Oh, blow me with that bullshit. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, there's another season coming. Come here. Taylor and Haley Thomas. Travis. I almost said Thomas. <laughs> Taylor and Haley Thomas. Lola, oh, Loa. Oh, yeah, the kaiju boy. That's right, he could transform. 
into a giant kaiju. Now remember, yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they were driven from their main home, and they lost their parents. Um, let me see. Yeah, they lost their parents. They were in this grotto for so many years, and they grew up there. And then it was attacked by uh, a kaiju who picked up on the signal they were broadcasting, or intercepted. Yeah. I remember now. Yeah. And then they they had to leave. They ran into... Who was that? Sh yeah, Shane. Yeah, the Bogan camp. Yep. That's right. Because they found a Jaeger to use. Atlas. Atlas Destroyer. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that shit. Yeah, because what makes this show unique, and I absolutely fucking love this part, is it's set in Australia. I like that that whole premise that it takes place somewhere other than America, that's good. Because I'm kind of hoping they go all around the continent, all around globally. Like, what's going on in Canada? What's going on in Antarctica? What's going on in the South Pole with kaijus and breaches and all that shit? You know, what's going on in the West Coast? What's going on the East Coast? That kind of shit. What about Russia, Mongolia, all of Asia, all that shit. Africa. Shit. <laughs> There's so much potential for this series. And it's been renewed for season two. I'm excited about that. Oh, man. Yeah, dude, that was some dope-ass shit. And it's dark. I like the dark. It's good stuff. Barbarians. So, that delivered in Aces. Beautiful German cast, phenomenal storytelling, anxious for season two. Always anxious for season two. There is so much to love about the series. Yeah, um... Well, since I'm on Wikipedia. Let's see, because I... I remember there was a big war. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, wow, I spelled that. There right, we go, barbarians. <laughs> I can't spell for shit. Barbarians, oh, for Christ's sake. Yeah, there was a giant war that... There you are, you beautiful fuck. Yep, barbarians. Oh, it's historical drama. That's right, yeah. Yeah, the account of events during Roman's Empire of Germania, resulting in rebellion of Germanic tribes, led by Arminius. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Dude, that war... Oh, man. <laughs> the tribes were cool as shit. I like the tribes. The Yeah, the Battle of... Tiedeberg Forest was great. But yeah, I remember a lot of people complained about it. <laughs> they didn't they either didn't like how it came off or they were mad about um nudity or some shit. I don't fucking know. I mean it's fucking people who are Netflix obsessed and shit. Me, am I Netflix obsessed? Yes. <laughs> Do I like my nudity? No. <laughs> oh, God. But no, like, the cast was great. The characters are amazing. But, like, watching that build up and shit, that was so cool. It was great. It paid off. And that, the forest fight, that was the shit. That was so dope. Yep. Yeah. So, out of the three of these, do I recommend them to any of you? Of course, of course. Check them out. If you you can find all three of these on Netflix, actually, they're all Netflix originals. 
Um, one thing I will mention from Sabrina that I mentioned in the review. Yeah, that shit ended too soon. It could have went on for another three seasons easily. I would have enjoyed that for seven whole seasons. But they decided to cancel it. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not going to cry and moan about it like other people. Um, Pacifica in the Black, anxious for season two. And Barbarian season two as well. So, hopefully... Their sophomore seasons will continue onward and upward. Hopefully. You never know. Um. Oh, shit. How do I rank this? <laughs> Which had the best first season? Ooh, that's, ooh, that's tough. Um, hmm. <laughs> that's a real tough one. I'd have to say Sabrina, Barbarians, then Pacific Rim. But if I'm going to do a bias rating, then it's going to be Sabrina, Pacific Rim, and Barbarians. So, yeah. But yeah, they were all great. So if you like historical dramas, if you like war shit, if you like Satanism, you'll enjoy these. If not, understandable. Everybody's picky. If you hate cast, crew, all that jazz, not for you. If not, if you don't, have fun. Go touch grass. <laughs> um, what would I change? Nah, I wouldn't change shit. I had too much fun with it. Although I do want to see more in Pacific Rim, though. I want to see what's going on with the world, honestly. Um, Barbarians, I don't know how it's going to end. I really don't. Oh, shit. So. Alright, now Sabrina ends. That ended. It was a decent ending. Yeah. So. I'll be back with another set of reviews. Stay tuned. <laughs>